few days ago, I posted about 16 years ago when I dared to join eHarmony, which seemed like a really big thing in 2008. And I think watching someone on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube, it can be easy to think, oh wow, it's always been easy for that person or that person's probably dated a lot or that person's probably always been successful. And relationship-wise, if I asked people I had dated where it went wrong to comment below, you would laugh at all <laughs> of the comments. But sometimes you wouldn't laugh. The reason I went to therapy 16 and a half years ago was not because I was brave. It was because my co-worker who was my boss at the time said go to therapy or you can't come to work anymore and I needed the money I wasn't brave I felt forced but it it was in the friendliest way my friend could do it I had spent three and a half years in a relationship with someone who I didn't realize it was abusive I didn't realize and if you had met me at all up till age 25 you'd be like Meredith puts up with no crap nothing Meredith would never settle for that Meredith would never allow someone to talk to her in a demeaning way or control her and I would have told you the same I would have been like absolutely but the thing is it, it did happen I was with someone who s seemed like this personality plus like really good looking and energetic and charismatic and seemed to have it all together came from this excellent family and I thought well this is different this relationship will work because this person is different and lo and behold I kind of didn't recognize myself as I went if I would have been able to see myself after year one compared to when we first started dating and then after year two I was absolutely a shell of myself. I was questioning everything I was doing. I was only happy, I convinced myself I was happy if they were happy. And they were never really happy. They were always trying to convince me that the way I was living my life was not smart, that I should not buy a house, that I should rent, that I should sell my house and move into their apartment with them. and. I shouldn't be hanging out with my friends that I am. And I just thought, now I realize, because I've studied therapy for a ton of years, <laughs> that he was trying to isolate me. He was trying to get me to have zero supports, zero place to turn. And thankfully, something in me recognized that this was not smart to not do that. And I'd love to say, oh, and then I just got strong and decided I'm not putting up with this. And, and I broke up with him. And, that's not what happened. We went on a vacation, a vacation where I thought for sure he would propose and something in my gut told me, no, this isn't right, you would be miserable, but people would say, oh, well, all relationships have ups and downs or no relationship is perfect. And, and I thought, oh, maybe I'm fooling myself and, and maybe this is the best it's gonna get. And we went on the vacation and he was controlling and demeaning and I found myself walking on eggshells even more there and I'm like well, I can't even relax and then it got heated one night and he I remember he took this huge book like one of those thick books and threw it right against the wall it smashed hard and it was like something in me went no no this is not okay even though the past three and a half years had not been okay. And now, trust me, I'm not saying I'm the perfect person to have a relationship with. However, I will say I was never physically abusive, uh, sexually abusive, etc. cetera. Um, but I, I was like, no. So we broke up and then we had to come home and our plane got canceled and so we had to have this whole bus trip and uh, rent a car and all this stuff. And I would love to say that at that point, I was like, that's it. But I didn't. I went back. And I went back for a few weeks. I would say three weeks. We were together. I think I probably begged him back. 
humiliating. And then one day he called me and he said, oh yeah, somebody came in and said, when are you gonna put a ring on that girl's finger? I said, well, what do you say when people ask that? And he says, I can't predict the future. That's what I tell them. I thought, you know what? No. And I broke up with him. And I said, bring over my key, my garage door opener, whatever, and set it on the, on the front porch. And I would love to say, I mean, that is the last time we dated, but I would love to say that it was easy, that I felt solid and firm in that, but it wasn't. It was a solid six weeks of waking up every morning, dreading the night, dreading the morning, crying, turning to my friends for support because I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to do life without that because I had become so accustomed to it, right? To the texts, to the phone calls, to having somebody there, and my house felt alone. But then my friend Todd said, you're going to therapy. And I did. And I went for a number of months. And I became more confident in who I am. I realized that what happened was wrong. And I started to heal. And that's what I wish for you. Not anyone on social media is perfect. Not anyone on social media is exactly as they portray themselves. I like to think I am now. But certainly there's things I haven't told you. But don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your worth. Don't doubt that 2024 can be the year that you throw it aside and say, I know it's not right. And move forward. It is hard. Those weeks of therapy were hard, but guess what? It was harder to have stayed. And now the other side of it, that's beautiful. It is beautiful. You put in the hard work, it will be tough, but you will be rewarded. If you want to read more about emotional abuse, check out the book, Why Does He Do That? by Lundy Bancroft. I'm not saying that only people who use pronouns he and him are abusive. No way. Uh-uh. Lots of folks abuse others. However, the book describes in detail the ways that folks are abusive. And if you see yourself in that book, if you see the way that you've been treated as abusive, find solace in that find help and get out. I'm Dr. Meredith Rausch, thinking that today might be my most important post I've ever done. Encouraging you to connect better with yourself in a healthy way and connect with others who are healthy and supportive and believe in you for who you are at your core. Happy New Year and thank you for being you.